I'm Dave Bulak, and today I'm checking out the Element 24-inch Roku TV. So it's a 720p TV. It is the 300 series right there along with the model number. And it says, of course, there's the easy-to-use remote control as well as the free mobile app. It's got Wi-Fi, which is important <laughs> for a streaming device. It's got thousands of channels, fast and easy search, automatic updates, of course, standard stuff. It works with... Apple AirPlay and you know the home kit as well as that whole hey Google stuff. So flipping it around anything in particular on this side. Uh two year warranty, which is nice with the product registration, and uh, that's about it. Okay, so let's go ahead, crack it open, see what's inside. So we've got our quick start guide along with more leaflet information. So with the Roku TV remote, we've got that power button. We've got our volume controls. We have no voice control. I guess that's why you want to use that mobile app to control your Roku with your voice if you wanted to. So with this TV, you also you get Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Apple TV+, Plus, and HBO Max. Here are our screws and the batteries. Let's just take that off real fast. Backside, it does say that this is Dolby Audio. Has our little cables here for video and audio, left and right channels. We also have our headset, if we wanted to plug it on in there. HDMI 1, 2, 3 is ARC. And there's the antenna slash cable optical as well, and USB 2.0. So these are the feet themselves. There's a left as well as a right. Okay, so the TV turned on pretty quickly. We're just gonna set this up, set it for home use. It's gonna look for our Wi-Fi signals. Let me log in. It's looking for the wireless connected to the internet. And of course, there's a software update. Okay, so it's going and downloading pretty quickly. That's really nice to see. Okay, so it's connecting. It may take a minute. All right, finally, we can activate with our email address, our Roku email, or we could do the QR code. So this is what it looks like if we do the email address, typing that in. If we want to activate it with the QR code, we need to just point our smartphone and take a picture of that, open up the link, and do it all through the phone. Okay, scanning the QR code leads you to this page, and so you can create your Roku account if you don't already have one, or if you're an existing customer, just click on that. Verify that you are human, it may take a few seconds, and then we're gonna log into our Roku account. All right, now that we've signed into our account and associated it with our TV, we wanna name the device. Also, where is it located? I'll just select family room and continue. No. Continue. And you can do this if you wanted to now or do it later. You can see all the various options to add, but we'll just click on continue. Now that I've logged into my Roku account, it is adding all the channels from my account to this particular Roku. So we'll just wait and uh, let it do that. Let's connect your devices. Everything is plugged and turned on. So now it's gonna be searching for HDMI one, two, and three. See if anything's connected there. And we can also just do this later. Or we could select nothing at all and nothing. And uh, what's connected, nothing as well. But again, the, the purpose is to say, oh, yeah, I have my cable TV here. Oh, I have my cable box or DVD player, etc. This allows us to understand what our input is in the menu screen and make it really simple and easy to uh, visually identify what we have connected to the TV. Let's get you streaming. Get to know your new Roku TV in about a minute. We'll start with your remote. Press home at any time to return to the home screen. Back. So the audio is pretty clear. I hear her fine. Additional options. Press Loud enough as well. To see the options. We're just skipping that a little bit, going into our uh, main menu here, our home screen. It functions very nicely. You can see very smooth, very responsive, much more responsive than I have an older Roku stick that is very sluggish in comparison to this. So this is nice to see for such a little tiny screen. 
It's really, really responsive. Okay, that's good. Again, tons of apps or various settings as well. Um, so if you ever want to go in and check things on out, adjust your TV picture settings. Or you can uh, change your TV inputs as well. There's also audio. So whatever you want to do, parental controls, lock things on up, up to you. Uh, you can also change your home screen, getting rid of recommendation rows, live TV, whatever features you don't use, you know, and you don't want to see anymore. You can get rid of those on the side as well and play around with it. So very easy to do. There's also a sleep timer. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go to live TV. See what's going on. See how it looks. Well, that was very fast to load. That's good. And if we just kind of click around, it's really nice to see that it's so responsive at loading the video. You know, it's one thing to load through the menus real fast, but to actually load video content, pretty great. There's tons of live TV that you can watch, of course, with Roku uh, products. So again, Easy to get in, easy to get out. Let's hear some music to see what that sounds like as well. Yeah, so the bass isn't like really impacting me or anything like that right now, no matter how high I kind of turn it on up. But you could still hear it very clearly, which is just as important as having a crazy surround sound setup. If we go to settings, then we go to remote and devices. Now we can add some speakers, right? So this is where the fun stuff is at. And so we can add our wireless speakers, wireless soundbar, and the subwoofer just to give us that oomph. You know, if we really wanted to have better audio capabilities, it's totally possible. You can also add a new remote as well. So just depending on if you want a different remote, you can add one to your TV. So looking around, you know, it's got pretty good viewing angles, which is important, I would say. You know, you want the screen to look pretty uniform no matter where it is that you are. Of course, more head-on will look slightly better. So now for a little 24-inch comparison, this was the Element, but I also do have the Westinghouse. So let's go ahead and see what they look like. Okay, so here they are side by side. We've got our Westinghouse on my left, and the Element TV on the right side. They are slightly different for some reason, and this is probably just a little software thing that's rolling on out, this news from the Roku channel at the very top. The colors seem pretty good on both of them. I will say this much, that the one on the left, the Westinghouse, does appear as if it's brighter than the Element TV. But that's not necessary to say that's better per se, because I do kind of like that it's a little bit darker. You can see the color looks kind of nice right there, as opposed to over here. It seems a little too bright. And they're both on the same brightness setting of the brightest setting possible. So if I go to settings and uh, change the TV picture settings, go to bright maybe, normal, Yeah, it seems overall still that the Element TV is darker. So let's go to Live TV, check out some video. See how quickly both of them load? Looks like our Westinghouse loaded a little bit quicker. And it looks like the Element is actually behind. Just a little bit. Not by much though. So changing the channels. It does seem like the Westinghouse is louder. Yeah, I hear a lot of audio coming from the left side. But they're both very responsive, which is what you want to see. You don't want to be sluggish or anything like that through the menu system or through video and loading it all. Now we're checking out viewing angles.
you notice any difference between the two? Okay, one last test to see which one turns on quicker. Ooh, that was close. Turned off pretty similarly. Yeah, but it looks like actually the element turns on slightly quicker. Thanks for watching and supporting my channel right now. If you'd like, please smack the like button. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. As well as subscribe to my channel for more videos coming soon. You can check out plenty of Roku products in my playlist right now.